we are going to talk about computer fundamentals by the term computer fundamentals we don't tend to discuss hello world program and so on let's try to discuss something different which no one has even talked to you about so before we get into that stuff let's try to understand basically what a computer is and what for what we have defined a programming language for so before understanding about a computer let's try to understand with the help of a television set it is an embedded machine which takes infrared radiation from remote as input and provide sound and picture as output so it is having a sort of limited functionalities but consider a computer it is a kind of black box where it takes input of any desired type and provides output according to any situation or need now after seeing what a computer does for us we have to understand why the programming language has been defined suppose you are the one who has invented the computer what do you generally do what i generally do is i try to integrate the same language that we try to communicate into the system uh like uh, they have also thought in the same way and they have uh, written a language called as fortran which stands for formula translation and in fortran the commands are like this go to n means i will skip to the nth line add i1 i2 i3 means i will add three variables i1 i2 and i3 but what they have observed was there was two flaws in the natural language that we tend to use first one was ambiguity and the second one being versatility let's try to understand ambiguity with the help of an example can you read this sentence for me you might have read it out as wait not kill him or wait not kill him so a single sentence has been completely interpreted differently by different people this is what makes a sentence ambiguous consider this example you are in india and your client is in us if you have written a code for a particular project both the machines have to interpret it in the same way or else it will lead to the failure of a project so our language which has to be defined should be non ambiguous to understand versatility consider this example if it is a refrigerator it can be even called as fridge so a single entity is associated with two different names but if we tend to define an integer in a programming language it has to be same throughout the world that is why our language should not be even versatile now after understanding ambiguity and versatility i think you got an idea why we have to design some new language like c c++ c sharp or python to be used over the natural languages so programming languages are having an edge over natural languages by not being ambiguous and not being versatile